Hi, I'm Kate Zullo, Head of Education here at the Litchfield Historical Society. For this afternoon's craft, we are going to make one of these, a punched tin lantern. Now, this is the lantern we get our inspiration from. As you can see, it's made of a tin sheet metal, and it has all of these little holes punched into it. That's, of course, why it's called a punched tin lantern. Now, you might be wondering, how much light could a lantern like that actually give off? And the truth is, not much. Now, on the inside, I have my candle. And imagine it's a dark, cold, windy night, kind of like last night, or probably tonight's going to be. If I were to step outside, maybe I'm headed to the barn or the outhouse, if I was just carrying my candle in a regular candle holder, a stiff breeze could quickly blow out my flame, and now I'm stuck in the dark. So, a lantern like this one is to protect your light. I could put my candle inside here, and it would be easy to carry around and safe from any wind that might extinguish the flame. Once I got to wherever I was going, I could open this door for more light. So now it's your turn to make your own punch tin lantern. Here's what you're going to need. Aluminum foil, a piece of scrap cardboard, a pattern, which you can find on our website, litchfieldshistoricalsociety.org, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a pen, a mason jar band, tape, and a hot glue gun. First, I'm gonna take my aluminum foil, and you're noticing I'm using a heavy-duty aluminum foil. I'm going to rip a piece that's approximately a square. It doesn't need to be exact. I'm gonna take that piece of aluminum foil and fold it into a rectangle. That's about four inches tall by nine and a half inches wide. Now, it doesn't need to be exactly four inches tall, but to fit around the mason jar band, I do want it to be nine and a half inches long. I'm going to put my aluminum foil right in the middle of my piece of cardboard. Notice that I put the folded side facing up. Then I'm going to take my pattern and I'm going to put it right on top. I'm going to use a couple pieces of tape to secure the aluminum foil and the pattern to the cardboard. This way it doesn't move around when I'm punching holes in it. Then I'm going to take my pen and start punching holes into the aluminum foil. I'm going to go right through the paper and the aluminum foil, all the way into the cardboard. I'm just going to follow the design and keep punching holes. Now that I've finished punching, let's take a look at what I've done. We see here my aluminum foil, and if I just lift this up, you can see my punched design. My next step is to attach the aluminum foil to the mason jar band using my hot glue gun. To do this, I'm just going to lay down a ribbon of hot glue right at the bottom of the tin foil. I'm then going to line my mason jar band up with the bottom. I want to make sure that the aluminum foil doesn't overhang. Then I'm just going to continue to put down more hot glue, and I'm going to rotate that mason jar band to attach the aluminum foil. Remember, hot glue guns can burn you, so this step and all steps using the hot glue gun are best done by an adult. Use the hot glue gun to glue the seam together. And there's the base to my punch tin lantern. Now it's time to make the lid for our lantern. I'm going to take another sheet of aluminum foil and fold it in half. Then I'm going to take the template for the lid, which is a little more than a half circle, and I'm going to cut that out. Now I'm going to use kind of an older pair of scissors because cutting tin foil can dull your scissors. It's not gonna do too much damage if it's just one punch tin lantern, but if you're making several of these, you may want to dedicate a special pair of scissors for the task. Next, I'm gonna work my way around folding over the edge. I just need to fold it over about a quarter of an inch to keep those two sheets of aluminum foil together. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna punch holes in the lid as well. So I'm going to use that piece of cardboard again and layer the cardboard and then the aluminum foil with the folded side facing up and then my pattern. Just like before, I'm going to use some tape to tape it all down so it doesn't slide around when I'm punching the holes. I grab my pen again and just start punching holes. All right, let's take a look at how it came out. I'm just gonna remove this template and take a look at our punched lid. The next thing we need to do is fold this into a cone shape. Now when I fold this into a cone, I wanna make sure that the folded side is on the inside and the perforations are facing outwards. Then I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and lay down a little glue on the seam, which I'm going to overlap and then pinch closed. The last thing I'm going to make is a little handle for my lid. So I'm going to take a piece of aluminum foil, four inches by two inches. I'm gonna fold it into thirds lengthwise. And then I'm going to wrap it into a circle. I'm going to use my hot glue gun to put a little bit of glue right on the end and pinch it closed. Finally, I'm just going to attach the handle to the lid again with a little hot glue. I'm gonna put some hot glue onto the handle and press it right onto the seam of the lid. My final step is to place my lid on top of my base. So that's it. That's how to create your very own punch tin lantern. Now you can find a full set of instructions and a material list on our website litchfieldhistoricalsociety.org. And once you've created your own punched in lantern, please share it with us. You can tag us on social media at Litchfield History. Have a happy crafternoon.